This location has been the center of London for a couple of thousand years. This is where the legions came. This is where they built their temples, one of which is in the Bloomberg building, the Temple of Mithras. We've tried to explain the history of this site and the religion. We're really contributing back into the community where we're honored to be able to uh, have a business. The remains of a Roman temple have been uncovered near the mansion house in the city of London. It is the only one ever found within the city. The Temple of Mithras was built in London by the Romans in about 240 AD. It was a temple to the god Mithras. And Mithras is said to have killed a primordial bull in a cave, and the temple represents the cave by being partly sunken into the ground. The temple was discovered in 1954, and it generated a huge amount of public interest. We queued for two and a half hours, but it was really worth it. Mithras was a, a big thing, really, because it was a temple which I'd never seen before. The owners of the site dismantled it, and then it was reconstructed 100 metres from its original location in 1962. In collaboration with the City of London, Bloomberg was obliged to relocate and restore the temple as close to its original location as possible. And as you would expect from Bloomberg, we're embracing both tradition, but also innovation and creativity. Our first task was to dismantle the 1960s reconstruction. Once we'd salvaged all of the Roman material, our aim was to reconstruct the temple back at its original Roman ground level, which is actually about seven metres below modern street level. It was the first time that we've been able to see the archaeology in this part of the city for half a century. Bloomberg felt it very important to go the extra mile and ensure that the reconstruction was handled with the utmost integrity. We had to quarry some new Kentish ragstone, which was what was used in the original building. We had a new handmade bricks built and we sampled Roman mortars so that we could create accurate lime mortars and renders. There's very few people who have connected together archaeology and innovation and I think that's a big gift that Bloomberg is giving, both creating community here in London, connecting it with ancient Londinium, but also forwarding the way that people can actually experience and even think about archaeology. Visitors will have the opportunity to enter the Temple of Mithras for a timed, immersive experience and through light and haze get a sense of the actual physical reconstruction of the temple. There's also an audio experience which sort of picks up some of the sounds you might have heard in Roman London, but also some of the more mysterious sounds of ceremonies and rituals that would have gone on in the building. As people have this experience of the Mithraeum, they'll understand much deeper what that actual Mithraeum was like in the past and how can we reflect on it for meaning in the present. A great deal of attention has been paid to try and ensure that the London Mithraeum Bloomberg space is accessible to everyone from academic experts to children that will be interested in getting a sense of what life was like 1800 years ago.